Pollution of Transport We use different means of transport in our everyday life. We are also able to get different kinds of goods and supplies from far off places. Transport has made modern life faster and more convenient. Roadways, railways, waterways and airways form a vital network of transport in today's times. Long ago, people could travel only on foot. With the invention of the wheel, it became possible for people to cover short distances and also carry heavy loads to nearby places with the help of animal-drawn carts and carriages. Man also started exploring waterways and airways to move from one place to another. The invention of the steam engine revolutionized transport. It played a major role in improving the transportation of people and goods. The steam engine started being used in bigger boats called steamers and railway coaches and therefore helped greatly in transporting people and goods across longer distances and in lesser time. It also became easier to transport heavier loads to far-off places. As time went by, man invented vehicles such as cars, buses, etc. which were more efficient and used petrol and diesel. This also became an important milestone in the Industrial Revolution. Today, people all over the world travel in different kinds of transport. Public transport such as buses, trains, steamers, etc. And private transport such as cars, scooters, bikes, etc. Roadways Land transport includes roadways and railways. When people used bullock carts and horse-driven carriages, they would travel on kacha, unpaved roads formed by the frequent movement of people and animals. As time went by and cars became more popular, it became necessary to make better pakka cemented roads. Developed countries have a network of highways called expressways or freeways which connect major cities. These have straight routes without major bends, crossroads or turns to help vehicles cover long distances in much shorter time spans. For people who experience an emergency or who want to exit or stop for a short break, there are also exit lanes provided. The Grand Trunk Road, Asia's oldest and longest major road, is about 2,500 kilometers long. It has linked the eastern and western regions of the Indian subcontinent connecting South Asia with Central Asia. The Grand Trunk Road was also known as Uttar Path, Road to North, Shah Rah e Azam, Great Road, or Sadak e Azam or Badshahi Sadak. The road network in India, especially in the more remote areas, 
helps in the development of these regions by connecting them to nearby cities, making the modern day facilities and supplies more accessible to them. Railways Railways facilitate the movement of a very large number of people or quantum of goods from one place to another. It's one of the preferred modes of transport when the distance to be covered is very long. People use railways to travel to different places for their work, education, business, sightseeing, pilgrimage or visiting friends and family. Additionally, goods are transported via railways to places far and near for trade. Goods trains carry the largest amount of heavy and bulky raw materials and finished products across the length and breadth of the country. Some of the goods include cement, food grains, fertilizers, heavy machinery and automobiles etc. Nowadays, trains mostly run on electricity. Trains also offer facilities such as special ladies' trains, guards in every coach and separate coaches for the physically challenged, mobile phone ticket booking, etc. Metro trains in Delhi, Kolkata, Gurgaon, Noida and Mumbai have made daily commuting fast, easy and convenient for the local people. Waterways Early man would swim short distances to go from one place to another. He soon learned to make rafts and boats to carry people and goods across lakes and rivers. Today, modern boats and ships carry not just people but also huge cargo such as food grains, mineral ores and other raw materials to far off places. Ships help people shift from one country to another by moving their household items in a more economical way. Luxury liners and cruise ships offer a luxurious way to see the world. Water transport is largely used to move heavy and bulky goods at low rates to coastal regions, both inside and outside the country. This benefits the country's international trade. Specially constructed oil tankers carry oil and petroleum products. Ports are very important centers of trade for any country. The major ports of India are Chennai, Kochi, Kandla, Mumbai, Kolkata, Marmagao and Vishakhapatnam. Airways Transport using air as the mode of traveling is called airways or air transport. It is the fastest means of transport and is thus the most expensive one as well. State capitals and important towns are connected by domestic airways while towns and cities of other countries are connected by international airway. International airports are present in major cities of the country. 
airways help in transport of high value and time sensitive goods like sophisticated machines costly drugs urgent medical supplies and perishable commodities such as exotic flowers fish and vegetables airways are advantageous during the time of natural disasters and calamities as they help save lives by delivering basic amenities like food medicines and clothing during natural calamities or war like situations food items water and necessary supplies are airdropped over the affected areas air india is india's national carrier India has a good number of well-designed domestic and international airports. These include the Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Bengaluru, Kochi, Hyderabad and Trivandrum airports.